Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to compare these two filters. They look the same, but they are very different in how they make and how they perform. So we're going to test both of them. We're going to run some water through them, see how they flow water. And then we're going to cut them open and see what's inside. But first we're going to run our introduction. We have two inline water filters and they look very similar except for maybe the color being different but they're very different in how they work. This is a one micron uh, filter. This is a hundred micron filter. And so what does that mean to you and your water? Well micron is the lower the number the better filtration that you get. Um, another difference that you can't tell on the video is this one's a little heavier than this one. You know, Not a lot but you can tell there's a little bit of weight difference. Yeah, not a lot, but there is definitely a difference. Yeah. So what we want to do here is we're going to, first, we're going to hook these up to our faucet, and we're going to time how long it takes to run water through them. We've got two brand new filters, so we're going to test all of them and see how they do, and then we're going to get the saw out and cut them in half. So you want to make sure to catch that. But first, let's go to back to the Tampa RV show and Keith, He's from Clear 2O, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the differences between these filters. And then water. One of the things that are different about Clear 2O water is we all manufacture with solid carbon block. So for a regular inline filter that could be anywhere from 20 to 100 micron, our solid carbon block is 1 micron. So it will take care of all of the hydrogen sulfide, all of the particulates, it will take care of all of the lead, the mercury, the chlorines, all of the contaminants you have to deal with in water. So what I have here is a five gallon bucket, a water supply for my water spigot, and a timer. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this bucket. It's about five gallons, and I'm gonna see how long it takes to fill. So turn on the water and start the timer. Quarters the way full. Almost there. I'm going to stop it there about an inch from the top. And it took 45 seconds to fill. So now we're going to try the blue filter and time that and see what that, how long it takes to fill that. First, I got to empty this bucket. All right, to make this simple, I'm going to attach this directly to. the spigot. Typically you would have a hose in here, a short section hose to keep that separated. I'm going to reset the timer and turn on the water and hit start. And it looks like this time the water is flowing a little slower. So we're at 20 seconds and we're not halfway full. 25 seconds, still not quite halfway full. We're past 30 seconds and we just hit about halfway. Coming up on three quarters of the way full at 45 seconds. So we've now hit the time that unrestricted. And remember, I'm going to fill this to about an inch from the top. 55 seconds. 
right there. So about one minute. So it took about one minute to fill this bucket to the same amount that we did with the other one. Next, we'll switch out this filter and put the green one on there and time that one. For this test, we're gonna try a brand new filter. This filter has not been used, has no water flow through it at this time. We're opening it up and you can see the plastic caps are still on the filter. So we're taking them off, attach that. So the filter is attached to our water pedestal. This is a brand new filter, it's never been used before. We are turning on the water and start the timer. You notice there was a little bit of um, black coming out, a little bit of carbon coming out with the filter. That's because it's brand new. So we're at 21 seconds. Thirty-five seconds. Forty-five seconds. We're almost halfway. We're at a minute. And we're about three quarters. Coming up, we're about two inches from the top. Right there. A minute 20 to take us about an inch from the top. So the results of our water flow test show that the blue filter is slightly less restrictive than the green filter. Probably because the green filter being of a one micron filtration is filtering the water at a finer level than the blue. So while Randy is getting ready to show you the two um, water filters and the difference between the two, uh, let me just show you this piece of artwork that our niece Corinne Hill made for us. She has learned how to do embroidery over our COVID lockdown. So Randy printed out this design for her and sent it along and she took it and transferred the design onto a piece of material and then she followed up by embroidering it. So I think it turned out great and um, we look forward to hanging it in our Airstream trailer. If you really like it, and we really do, and if you're interested in doing a design that you would like to have Corinne embroidered for you, you can contact Randy and he will provide you with Corinne's email that you can contact her with and give her the details and she will give you the details of what exactly she can do for you. Now for the part you all been waiting for, we're going to cut these filters in half. We're going to start with the green one here and then we'll cut the blue one in half and show you what's inside. So, we'll fire up the saw. Now we've cut this filter in half. We can take a look inside and see what makes it. So you can see it's fairly simple. We have here a solid carbon element that does the filtration. And then inside, there's really nothing else except for a couple of seals. One where it, it seals around the top and one where it seals around the bottom, forcing the water to flow through the carbon. Now let's cut open the blue filter. All right, so you can see what's inside this filter. It's basically just loose carbon. 
And I think I'm going to grab a paper towel and see if we can dump some of this out. Take a look at it. So, this is what's inside the blue filter. Mm. It's granular carbon. And the water passes through the carbon and, and it does a treatment for taste and order, but it doesn't filter anything. The only thing that filters the water is these two foam pads. And so this is a 100 micron filtration. This is what's inside the green filter. And this is a one micron filtration. Lower the number, the better. And the water passes through this and through comes out the inside and will take out all the odor and, and uh, taste, bad taste out of your water. And it will also filter out particles. Because of this is such a fine filter, if you get a lot of dirt or whatever in your water, mm -hmm. it will clog this filter. So that's why you want to use these pre-filters. This is a 20 micron pre-filter, the dirt card that Clear 2O makes. And you attach these two together right here. And well, what this will do is this pre-filter will clean the water before it goes through the carbon filter. And that way your, your carbon filter will last a lot longer and your water is cl cleaner and tasting better and less odors and such. Okay. So Sounds this good. is this is the combination you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, this the problem with this filter here is yeah, as the water passes through, it makes little channels and such, and, and it doesn't have the um, effectiveness as long. Oh, okay. How long does? You should be able to get a season out of one of these. Okay. You know, so you know, summer seasons or whatever. So, so if you're full timing, you'd probably want to replace this every three to six months. Uh -huh. um, this one here, you could probably run it the same amount of time, but you're probably not going to have as much effectiveness over time, or it go goes down. Uh -huh. So we hope you learned something with this look inside of these water filters. And if you're like us and you want to have better filtration for your RV in a compact size, you head over to what website? To their website clear2o.com and use the coupon code Zephyr Travels and you can place an order and you will receive 10% off until July 15th. That's right. So just in time for the summer season, be able to get yourself a dirt guard pre-filter and an inline carbon filter, one micron. So this is definitely our filtration setup for this summer. Hopefully it'll be yours too. If you like this video, what should they do? Please subscribe to our channel. That's right, and hit the bell for notifications. Also give us a thumbs up, it really helps with the analytics for YouTube to get people to get to look at our videos. We will see you down the road when we hit the road sometime in July. We'll see you then. Take see care you. everybody. Take care guys. Bye.